Welcome to Journey for Justice, a live nativity. Station 1, The Christmas Story God sent the angel Gabriel to the village of Nazareth, to the young Mary. She was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like this. But the angel assured her when Mary asked how this could be. Nothing, you see, is impossible with God. And Mary responded, I'm ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. The Christmas story comes to life on the journey for justice. Mentor to youth, bridging the opportunity gap. We bridge gaps with youth empowerment, family involvement, and community collaboration, cultivating purpose through service. The whole child, the whole community, lifelong learners. All people have the potential to succeed in life and contribute to society. However, not all people get the support they need to thrive. By all estimates, an astounding 17.6 million children, nearly half the population of young people between 10 and 18 years of age, live in situations that put them at risk of not living up to their potential. Without immediate intervention by caring adults, they can make choices that undermine their futures and the economic and social well being of our nation. Our raising royalty theme develops a chess, not checkers mentality that promotes royalty through an inside out approach, through the development of elite habits in the areas of purpose, love, finances, wisdom, community, and discipline. Be a mentor. Bridge a gap. We respond with wonder, prayer, and song. Who empowers you to be your best self? What does being ready look like for you? Let us pray. God of justice, all things are possible with you. Help us to be ready for what waits in our future. Amen. Station 2, The Christmas Story. Mary hurried to a town in Judea where she greeted her cousin Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, her baby moved within her. The Holy Spirit came upon Elizabeth. She was thrilled. God has blessed you and the child you will have. Why should the mother of my Lord come to me? As soon as I heard your greeting, the baby in me became happy and kicked for joy. The Lord has blessed you because you believed God's promise. The Christmas story comes to life on the journey for justice. I was a doula before I was a mom. There is nothing like being present when a baby is born. Sadly, I've also experienced the funeral of a baby. I was with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law the day my nephew was born, too small, too soon, and died the same day. 
Ever since, I see every mom as my sister and every baby as my baby. When you see communities this way, you work differently. At Birth Detroit, we are no longer asking permission to save our own lives. We aim to be leaders in our own care. Our mission is to midwife safe, quality, loving care for all birthing families. Birth Detroit pairs evidence-based midwifery models with community wisdom, power, creativity, and determination. Birth Detroit Care Prenatal and Postpartum Clinic has served 30 families since opening in October 2020. In 2021, Birth Detroit will open Detroit's first freestanding birth center, led by Black women and shaped by community voices. We respond with wonder, prayer, and song. How can you offer support to others? What support do you need? Let us pray. God of justice, all things are possible with you. Help us to trust your promises and care for one another and for ourselves. Amen. Station 3. In solidarity with immigrants and to honor experiences at the southern border, we have chosen not to have actors performing at this station. The Christmas Story. Emperor Augustus gave orders. Everyone had to be listed. So Joseph had to leave Nazareth and go to Bethlehem. Long ago, Bethlehem had been King David's hometown and Joseph went there because he was from David's family. Mary was engaged to Joseph and traveled with him to Bethlehem. She was going to have a baby soon. The Christmas story comes to life on the journey for justice. Hola, mi nombre es Nancy. Como inmigrante indocumentada en Estados Unidos, durante esta pandemia no hemos recibido Hello, my name is Nancy. As an undocumented immigrant in the United States during this pandemic, we have not received any kind of economic help from the government, local or federal. For this reason, we have seen ourselves in obligation to go to work, regardless of the country's health conditions. We are the invisible essential workers who nobody counts. And meanwhile, we must go out for sustenance for our families. Our children must stay at home for their online classes due to the closure of public schools. La Escuelita is what our children have affectionately called the learning center of Movimiento Cosecha. Cosecha is a movement fighting for the permanent protection dignity and respect for all immigrant communities in the United States. They are playing a fundamental role in us being able to work calmly while our children learn in a safe space. 
La Escuelita works based on donations that families and allies make to our cause. We are not charged for having our children there, as it happens in other places. We all contribute to building a community in which we all support each other. This is why donations are essential for us to continue working and our children to continue to learn in these difficult times for all. Hasta la juega. En estos tiempos tan difíciles para todos. Hasta la juega. We respond with wonder, prayer, and song. What journey are you on? In what ways have you made the journey hard for others? Let us pray. God of justice, all things are possible with you. We are sorry for the ways we have missed the mark. Thank you that your arms are wide enough to welcome and embrace us all. Amen. <laughs> Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shine the light the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight for Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above while sleep the angels keep their watch of wandering love O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to God the King and Station 4, The Christmas Story Mary was very pregnant by the time they got to Bethlehem. When they got there, they tried to find a place at an inn, but there was no room, so they ended up in a stable next door. Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a baby boy. She wrapped him warmly in some cloth and laid him in the manger. The Christmas story comes to life on the journey for justice. Hi, my name is Petey Williams. I just want to say I appreciate everything that they've done for me. I came here almost 100% homeless. Now I'm not homeless no more. I didn't have a no no piece of ID, nothing to say who I am. Now I have all that stuff thanks to the Donata Center. The way I got homeless, the house had some plumbing issues and the landlord didn't want to fix them. So the house got condemned, and that put me, made me homeless. I mean, I'm back to work, get my job, 
you know, I, I, my job was always there for me when I got <clears throat> came after I've gotten myself together, and now I'm back to work. You know, I work 12 hours a day. I'm a hard worker. I, I love my job. I love to work, and I love people. And I, I just want to say I really appreciate everything that these people have done for me. You know, I, I got I got a nine year old son. I thank God for him. And like I said, I thank God for the Delano Center. Dan, me and her, we crack jokes. We got a joke. I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> and that's about, you know, that's about it. We respond with wonder, prayer, and song. How might you love your neighbor as yourself? In what ways can you make room for others? Let us pray. God of justice, all things are possible with you. Give us grateful and generous hearts, today and always. Amen. Station 5, The Christmas Story. Mary and Joseph took the baby Jesus to the temple to dedicate him to the Lord. There was a wise and holy old woman there. Her name was Anna. She spent a lot of time at the temple praying for the needs of everyone around her. When she saw Jesus, she started to praise God with unexpected joy. To everyone she met, she spoke about this little one the child of hope, who would teach us to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with God. The Christmas story comes to life on the journey for justice. Oftentimes, the Dispute Resolution Center helps provide a facilitated session between staff members who are experiencing conflict with one another in the workplace. In a recent situation, Two parties were struggling with racial microaggressions and racially insensitive comments with each other. The relationship deteriorated to the point where both parties could not work with each other anymore. The DRC's mediation services helped to provide a safe space for them to come together and talk through their issues. Both parties eventually came to an understanding and even an agreement of apology. A past participant shares, the facilitators provided a space for me and my coworker to feel heard and skillfully guided the conversation when moments got tough. It felt like the facilitators were trying to show that I was hurt and to have the other party address that hurt, which they did. I feel like mediation was beneficial to us both and am happy we had the session. We respond with wonder, prayer, and song. What change are you waiting for that you can't imagine? Let us pray. God of justice, all things are possible with you. Fill us with prayers of patient listening, of open hearts, 
and of possibilities we never imagined. Amen.